Welcome to Beer and Board Games, all of you warriors, wizards, and everything in between, as we are about to venture into the chaosal. This yeah. is a real serious board game for serious real board gamers. And right now, I would like a real serious beer. Sawtooth Brewery, Idaho IPA. Thank you, Mel, for sending us this beer. Mmm. It tastes like pencils. Oh my god, we've never had a beer on the show that tastes like pencils before. Wow. That's interesting. Hey, it it kind of does. Tastes oh, like a straight up tree. You take like the sharpener, the pencil sharpener shavings, and you just dump them all in your mouth. <laughs> That's exactly what it tastes like. <laughs> You know, it's not bad. It makes me feel more masculine than I really am drinking this. Chaosal. Three-dimensional castle fantasy board game. <laughs> this is a serious board game. Each player chooses an army of varied fighters, from knights and wizards to dragons and other fantastical creatures. The first player to reach the center of the castle, Sanctuary, with a predetermined number of fighters, will win the game. Tony is going to choose... A character first. Here are all 16 of the characters. You got good, you got chaos, neutral, and you've got magic. Now we're all gonna choose four characters. Some of these characters might go better together with other characters. Spend about a half an hour thinking about it before you make a decision. <laughs> You're first, choose your character. Okay. I get the feeling you don't actually like this game. It's a very serious board yeah, game. you keep saying uh, that. I'm going to go with this evil warlord dude. That's one choice. Uh, Fifteen to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to choose this guy based on his name, Sir Randall Quest Dragon Slayer. I want a dragon. I'm picking a dragon. Ooh, this is a unicorn. What I like about this guy who's a sage, a savant, is that he looks like me. <laughs> wow, you really With does. a book and a skull. <laughs> what if I just go all chaos? You can do that. I'm gonna do it. Minotaur? Yep. You know it. Okay, now we have to choose starting spots. I suggest choosing whatever starting spot is closest to you, because who cares? The naked contempt you have for this game is very amusing. Not, <laughs> my contempt is more for what we'll be able to do with the game. You chose this game for I, us to play. I paid a lot of money for this game, and I want <laughs> something to happen with it. How so much did you pay for this game? $50. That's not a lot of money. So the goal of the game is to get from your starting spot all the way around the board, go up here and attack the castle. And if you kill the castle, you win the game. That's like Dark Tower but with no tower. Please. Four. Four. Optional four. I can either go four spaces or stay where I'm at. Yeah, you don't have to move four. That's why it's optional four. I'm going to move four spaces. Six. Six is boring six. Uh, I don't you care. Have One, to two, move six. three. Actually, it's just four, called six. Five. Six. Fate five! Ooh. Player who rolls a five on the turn must move a character that doesn't play five spaces. The chosen character will immediately receive a fate after being moved. The card of happiness or the card of doom will determine the character's fate. This is a serious board game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Card of happiness. Ching! Or card of doom. Blim. <laughs> Ching or blim. The choice is yours. <laughs> Five. That's going to be a doom. Now I got to roll two dice. Right here. Nine. Shark attack. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a serious board okay. game. Shut up. I'm near a moat. There could be a shark. A strange gust of magical wind blows the chosen character out a nearby window, splashing into a pool of toothy horrors. Place them in the shark attack trap. I'm assuming that's here, where the sharks are. The following action is to be taken depending on the roll of the die. Four. Four. The character is rescued by a mermaid and escapes the trap. Hell yeah! <laughs> you Put go me back, back to and the start. start. Yeah, you're gonna get, you're gonna get, get it, it so good. You're gonna get I it. I'm gonna get it so good. He's gonna get it so good. It's in the way that you use it. <laughs> Bam, bam. 
FolksCon 2022 is happening this year in 2022. It is happening August 5th and 6th right here in Madison, Wisconsin at the Brink Lounge. You can go to folkscon.org for more information and you, yes you, can attend this beer and board games convention. The first of its kind. We're going to play Chaosal and we're going to read all the rules. No, no, no. We don't have time for that. No, we're we've gonna. got till August. I'm going to learn how to play this game. I'm bringing out my magic lady. I'm bringing my... me me. Wait, what? Where's this guy? <laughs> I'm bringing my me me. What? <laughs> I'm bringing my bit me. This bringing is... my mit me. Maceo. <laughs> Get up! Larrikin of Half Moon, the barbarian, has entered the fray. Get ready to spread your lips. That's another one. I'm gonna bring up my dragon. Okay. Fate five. I'm gonna move Sir Randall Quest five spaces. Six. Oh, that's a doom. Twelve. Uh oh, that can't be good. Death. <laughs> Nightmares and terrible visions haunt you. Your army, leaving them paralyzed with fear, and in some cases, literally scared to death. Roll three dice to determine how many health points each of your characters in play lose. Eleven. I got a one! It's time to bring out Fenroth Lightbreaker, the bitch master. <laughs> fate full five. Oh dear. Roll for your fate. Six. Torture. Ooh. The character ends up in the castle's torture chamber after a wrong turn down a musty corridor. Place him anywhere within the torture chamber trap. So I'll roll at the start of my next turn. Okay, I might make a jump right here. And then the way to do it is you gotta roll enough to get across. I rolled a six. Well, lucky you. I rolled a six, he rolled a six. I rolled a six, he rolled a six. One. Two, three, four, five, Ooh, six. Bravo. That means I make the jump and I'm across and I'm making short work of this distance. My little leapkins. Uh, One, I'm bringing out the minotaur. <laughs> That's the sound they make. That's a nice minotaur. That's the Thank sound you. of the beast. Working on the chain. <laughs> Gang. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna roll my torture die. Three. Chained to the whipping post, the character loses six health points from a good lashing. One, two, ah, three, ah, four, ah, five, ah, six. Ah. And don't do it again. I would like to thank Shane Hickey for taking care of us over at live.beerandboard.com. He takes care of our security over there, literally. And uh, if you use that website to watch our live streams, then you've got him to thank for that. It's at this point in the show when we toast our patrons at patreon.com slash beer and board games who have bought us a beer. Buying us a beer is a reward level. And you guys, if you don't know about our reward levels, then you don't know shit. I'd like to toast <laughs> Kyle Boutillier, Arns Davros, Sean, Henry, Mark Falona, Yes. Do I have I to go back that. to the start space? No. I prefer not to. No, no you, don't, you don't get to do that. Oh, okay, good. I didn't want to. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Is this what you're like at a date? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You wanted to eat that dinner. Yeah, I did. That I got for you on our date. It was yeah. good. You liked it. Okay. One. Oh, damn it. I could have brought out another fella. Should have. So now, if I have a one movement, that means I just move what the die says. But if I have a two movement, does that mean I roll? You get an extra bonus one. Just an extra bonus one. I think that's okay. how it works. I don't care. All right. Well, I'll move the Minotaur one so I can bring out another fellow. Well, no, you can't though because you have to move. You have to move this guy too. Why? Wait. Who's got the movement bonus? What character? Not him. I'm yeah, just well, moving him one. Oh well, then you don't get no movement bonus. I know. I just asked you that question and you answered it and I moved accordingly. I didn't need any further information. Maybe I'll give you further information if you, you want always to. do. Maybe I want to. This is a serious board game. <laughs> Six. A player can have a character battle any of the opposing player characters as long as the opposing character is within range at least one weapon on your attacking character's battle card. I got a range of one. All right. The following rules apply to battles between two characters. Start a battle if they're within range. Multiple battles can be fought before the current player ends the turn. Only one character can be battled at a time. 
Single character can battle multiple opposing characters. Would you like to battle multiple opposing characters? Hell yeah. A single character can battle multiple opposing characters belonging to the same player. You sound like a maniac. This is what it says. <laughs> the character can only battle each opposing character once per turn. In each other words. In other words, if the battle ends, it cannot be restarted until the next turn. A character cannot battle an opposing character residing in its original starting position unless the opposing character starts the battle. Uh, do you want to battle? Someone gave birth to you. <laughs> the battle begins with the current player rolling the die against their character's battle card to determine the weapon used. <laughs> this is going to get a little boggy. If the range of the weapon you use is within the range okay. between the characters and the attack was successful. Are you going to roll a die? Roll a die! All right. So we can make this yeah. end. Two. All right, what the weapon is by two for your unicorn? Powerful rear kick. It hits my demon man for ten. You beat him, he moves back one space. Okay, that's me. Five. Honor. Let's see. I saw it. I was going to slap it. I like that. Put it back. Okay. Put what back? <laughs> Look over here. Lift your right arm. <laughs> Ooh! Okay, I have a proposal to accelerate gameplay. Is that whatever you roll, you add 17 to it. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Okay, that's smart. Yep. <laughs> okay, so I rolled a 5 plus a 17. That is 22! <laughs> 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13, 40, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21. All right. 22. Oh, I got to fight this guy. God, Murph Bitchington. Roll. Roll, okay, right. roll the six. That means I win. <laughs> that means does, you actually. used your number six no, weapon. add 17. <laughs> no, you don't add 17 to that. Six. What's your six attack? Uh, uh, instant karma. <laughs> <laughs> it got me. I did a random acts of kindness. What? Eight damage. Okay, uh, my character's dead. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, all my characters are dead. Oh, okay. They've all well. been killed. And I'm taking this building with me. All right. Fair. One. He's taking... Uh, I'm going to take all this building. Oh, my God, the chaosal is disassembling. <laughs> we're How missing is it possible? We're missing a whole... <laughs> Quarter chaos. I'm just gonna take all. Of that was a wild, <laughs> fateful five. I gotta roll take quick. All. I got a fate five. Fate five. <laughs> Drink. Plus seventeen. Oh, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, two, seventeen. This is a serious game. <laughs> <laughs>